Hi, this is Jim. It's Monday, August 24th. Time for your COVID-19 coronavirus Georgia metrics update. And let's take a look at the daily report. We are actually starting with some good news for the day. I'm going to point you over to the number in yellow that says 9.8. And why that's good news is that is the percentage of new of tests that result in a new case, seven-day average, as of today. So our seven-day average is down below 10, and that takes us out of the White House criteria uh, of being red and puts us into yellow. So, you know, improvement is improvement, and uh, it's nice to see uh, something changed. So we have seen that positive rate going down. Uh, that means cases are going down and testing is going right. So uh, good news there. <clears throat> On the topic of testing, that low positive rate was driven by a good number of tests today. Uh, we had thirty, almost 35,000 tests. That's uh, way up from what we've seen. In fact, it's up uh, almost 9,000 from last week. <clears throat> so um, you'd think that cases would be up, but because of the low positive percentage, cases were actually just slightly off the seven-day average, uh, which was 2304. Uh, that is up 500 from last week, but as I said, a little bit lower than the seven-day average, and so uh, that's good. If you uh, are curious as to kind of how these trends are going to go, take a look back at the second half of yesterday's video, I look into the uh, trends and talk about how quickly uh, we can see some of these decline back to potentially our uh, late May, early June rates. All of that resulted in a new case number uh, of 2304, went through that, okay. Uh, On to the deaths, 24 reported today. Uh, that's one down from yesterday, so, uh, excuse me, last week. So that is good. Uh, our seven-day average is still pretty high at 61. So hopefully we will keep ourselves in this 24 range and we'll start to see some declines. My guess is because of the way this is trailing cases, we probably will see a couple of more peaks over the next few weeks. Uh, but for right now, uh, it's a good number for today. New hospitalizations, typical Monday low, uh, no change to active hospital beds, and no change to the number of people in CCU. They actually were right on the same number for back-to-back -back days. So 84% uh, is our CCU utilization. I think everybody would like to see that come down a little bit more, uh, but that is good. Uh, the RT trend, 0 0.99, we're right around that magic line of one that says we're in spreading mode or we're in uh, retracting mode. So we'll keep an eye on that as that's been bouncing around. It had been lower. It's creeping back up. Makes me wonder if maybe some of that is school related, uh, but we will uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, let me just pop up the CCU chart real quick so everybody can have an eyeball on it. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five regions that are above 90 percent none of them are over 95 uh athens i think is a addition to this list today and uh, kennestone is at uh 16 beds available so uh, something to keep an eye on uh, Oconee, uh three beds available and i read something about potentially milledgeville which is part of that Oconee east central uh, region H going to a mask ordinance. So uh, keep an eye open for that over the next couple of days. On the school side, uh, some interesting developments since Friday when this was last updated. Uh, there are seven incidents here. Uh, and then right after I printed this, another incident came up uh, with uh, Fulton County Schools uh, where there was another one of these, hey, seniors, let's all get together and take a big picture things uh, that looked like it had about 150 kids in it. So uh, that could be interesting, particularly since Fulton County schools, as far as I understand, are virtual learning. So even though they're virtual learning, all the kids got together, that could potentially spread it. We'll just got to... 
watch and wait and see. The other interesting thing on the school list is in Gwinnett County, you'll see there's zero, zero for infected and impacted, but the note actually says uh, that there's a social media post going around saying, hey, teachers, let's call in sick on Wednesday. So we will see if that happens as well. Uh, but a potential sick out for Gwinnett later on this week. Uh, the other the other schools uh, here, Columbia School, the 32 in Columbia School System and Colquitt uh, School System 15, those are weekly reports. So it's not as if one, one place had a... Um, a fire up and it's not one big school outbreak it's a lot of a little school outbreaks at this point all right that's it for today hope your monday's going well and as we get any updates we'll talk about them on reddit reddit link is below please join in we'd love to hear your thoughts and conversation it was a busy weekend uh if you didn't see uh governor kemp came out and talked about uh, how he didn't feel like he was getting supported by the local newspaper. Uh, we also had a uh, a scenario here where we passed uh, 5,000 deaths statewide, and now we're up to almost 5,200. Um, this was uh, something that we put out on Saturday, uh, 592 crosses for Governor Kemp. Uh, talking about uh, what's happened since the pandemic started. So this is uh, a little less than six-month view of the deaths in Georgia at this point. Uh, it only took, so we, uh, if you remember back a few weeks ago, I did a chart that said kind of how quickly things were uh, accelerating and how long it took to get from 1,000 to 2,000 to 3,000 and so on. It only took 17 days to get from 4,000 to 5,000. So um, if we continue to see it at that pace, we will have another 1,000 deaths on our hands by mid-September. Uh, it feels like it'll slow down a little bit from that, but uh, that is the pace we are on as of the last three weeks. So... All right, that's going to wrap it up for today. Hope everybody had a good weekend, and we will see you all again on Tuesday.